Dude, like, seriously? Okay, so tonight I was at the Harbor Room and there were free credits on a jukebox, about 36 to be exact. Um, 36 credits that someone had left in the jukebox. So I walk up and I start playing music. And a couple of the people there, they really liked my selections and they commented on, you know, they said that I played good music. Um, so I'm just casually sitting in my bar stool enjoying my beer and some random guy who I rarely see at the harbor room walks up and hands me ten dollars. He's like, here, here's ten dollars. Play more music or do whatever you want with this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm looking really dumbfounded and surprised and shocked and oh, I really don't even think that I said thank you. I really believe that I forgot to say thank you and I'm like beating myself up because of that because I'm good mannered and I always say thank you or sorry or please and you know the fact that I think that I may have forgotten to say thank you that really is bothering me but um, what I do is he gives me $10 and I walk over to the jukebox and I put $5 in there and I play more songs and I keep the other five for myself. Um, and just the fact that, you know, you know, I never ask for anything. I'm not the type of person who's going to stand out on a street corner and ask for a quarter or 50 cents or a dollar for food or gas money or something. I mean, I don't even drive. Um, I'm not the type of person who begs or asks for anything. You know, I take care of myself, but I'm so used to people being selfish and greedy that I think just the fact that someone is doing a kind act like this that you know that catches me off guard and it takes me by surprise that I don't know how to respond to that to acts of kindness like that um so again I really feel sorry if I did not say thank you but I will be sure to say thank you the next time that I see him in the bar um Again, I'm just like, really? Ten dollars? Ten dollars. You're a random stranger <laughs> giving me ten dollars. I mean, maybe you can afford to do this. Maybe, um, maybe uh, seven or eight years ago when Hurricane Katrina hit, you donated hundreds or thousands of dollars to the victims. Um, but, you know, maybe you can afford to do that, but I'm just not used to random acts of kindness like that, so I really just don't know how to respond to that. So, sorry if I'm slow or <laughs> dumbfounded or whatever, but, um, yeah, that really caught me off guard and it really surprised me and, um, Thank you <laughs> so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will be sure to thank you in person the next time I see you. If I ever see you again, because it's so rare that I see you there at Harbor Room. But um, I still can't get over this. I'm so dumbfounded. Like, <laughs> $10? Really? Oh, dude, what the hell? What is this for? <laughs> Again, thank you. <laughs> the thing that's coincidental is that yesterday, my mom takes me shopping. I get in the car. She gives me $10. She gives me two $5 bills, but somehow I managed to lose it before I get in the store. Um, I must have put it in my pocket or... I don't know at what point I lost this money, but I must have put it in my pocket, and when I reached into my pocket for something else, it must have come out, and someone else must have come along behind me and picked it up. Um, but the whole uh, coincidental part of this story is the fact that yesterday I lose two $5 bills equaling $10, 
but then today some random stranger gives me two five dollar bills equaling ten dollars so um that's just a weird strange bizarre coincidental part of the whole thing again thanks for watching and thank you